Glenn, we sit here a point tonight. When you reflect, is that a good point or a bad point? A, a, a bad point at the moment. Yeah. Uh, but like I've always said, Phil, I'm a, I'm a glass half empty type of guy. I, I thought it was a, a mega opportunity to, to win two games over two. But it's 6 4 down, I would have snapped your hands off a uh, six inch. When the fellow went 5 3 up, I have to ask you about that leg. When you turned down a dart to go for the ball when she was on 160, did you just misread what she was on? I just didn't know she was on. I was. I, I, I thought I'd had a decent leg and I thought she was in the 200s um, and all the experience in the world that you're going to have and not looking at the opponent's score just maybe sums up where my mental state was during that match there and uh, I needed to go 2-0 up, 3-0 up in that match and I didn't uh, and, and I probably you know, when, when she won the 160 and I took my darts out, realised she won the 160, the treble 20 went in. I could uh, see the headlines then, so just a schoolboy around. The pressure in that game, was that more than any of your three world finals? Um, the crowd were amazing. I, I wish I could sit here and say it was a pantomime, because I'd already done my interview with you, Phil, it, it, when I laid in bed today. I was like, it was a pantomime, it was shocking, they showed me no respect. The crowd were great. The, the crowd were fabulous. It was a, a wonderful experience. I'm just, um, just really disappointed that I didn't... Uh, come out as a victor because I genuinely thought it was an excellent opportunity to, to win two games over two. That 70 finish though to get a point, balls of steel might one say, what yeah. was going through your mind knowing that if you'd missed you were going to be the first one to lose to a challenger? I only thought that I'm going to lose to a challenger at 6-4, uh, the 70 there I, um, I, I've got the balls of steel, I, I, I know that I normally win them matches when it's 3 each, 4 each. Uh, I've been winning them games in the PDC, but um, yeah, I, I didn't come through. I didn't come through that feel like I thought I would hope to do. But I had a feeling that sent it was going to go in. I maybe at six four was a really, really lonely moment. It's uh, it's you know when you've got a, an amazing crowd behind you. That noise when she hit, when she made it six four was unbelievable. And I thought um, I, I'm a beaten man for only at that point. You've known Fallon for a long time back in your BDO days. How far has she come since the last time you played her? I, I, I've tried to champion ladies' darts. You know, you look at Fallon. I mean, I'm, I'm such the biggest fan of Lisa Ashton. You know, Suzuki, when Stanley, Dita Hedman, 130 titles. It's just Anastasia Dobromislova could play like that on that stage. There's a there's an excellent base of ladies' darts right out there, uh, and I've tried to champion that as uh, as much as possible. Uh, I never thought Fallon would take me to six each. Um, but she's had an amazing two or three months and, and good luck to the girl, genuinely good luck to the girl. She's um, highlighting autism as well, which is fabulous and um, she looked nervous backstage. Um, I felt okay myself, but um, Ladies Dart is the big winner tonight. Thank you. Thank you.